Just so you know, we're at UMass's campus and not in Puerto Rico. Those are Coquie frogs that you are hearing. There's a colony, I would say, of about seven or eight males. No telling how many females, no telling how many uh, juveniles are, you know, in the bromeliads, but there seems to be a few. My name is Jim Allen. I'm the greenhouse manager for the biology department, and I've been here since 1996. Here, but this would be the ideal home for coquies. Uh, there's moisture in there. There's probably uh, insects that they'd like to eat. Hopefully, if they were to eat slugs, that would be a real bonus. Um, so they would find a secluded spot in between the leaves of this plant. It's likely that uh, the frogs were introduced by some amphibian and plant lover uh, <coughs> before my time. And I've been here for about 10 years, but I, I have noticed that there have been more and more uh, frogs over the past few years. So obviously, there's a home for them here that they like, and they multiply. You or your fellow classmates probably know the greenhouses have had uh, a period of flux and uh, the plants were all moved, displaced from this facility. So I think at one time there may have been, may have been from 50 to 100 frogs living in the greenhouse, but my guess at this point is that there's somewhere between 20 and 50 at this point. Uh, 50 being the high end of that guess. So I've been here evenings after watering and I would uh, hear callings coming from at least a half a dozen locations, which makes me believe there's more than that at least. Uh, when I first discovered these, I tried to put them into a terrarium, a small glass fish tank, and enclose it and watch them over time, but it always met with disaster. The tank, I'd put a glass cover over the top and, would, and I would find uh, dead baby cookies after uh, a short number of days.